Here is the list of the most popular questions about Etsy shops. What keywords can you recommend me for my listings? How to write titles and tags? What price or photo is more appropriate on Etsy? How to increase traffic, perhaps the favorite one. So, if you know yourself with one or more questions, so consider watching this video till the end and I bet that you will have only one question. Why didn't I do this earlier? Hi guys, Julia here. Welcome to our channel where we make videos about selling on Etsy. So be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss new videos about how to sell on Etsy successfully. Also on our channel we are launching a series of videos named Shop Critique where we will review a shop and give some recommendations how to attract uh, more traffic to your shop. So if you're interested in join our Facebook group that is devoted to Etsy SEO, that is search engine optimization and leave your request for a free shop critique. I will leave the link in the description below. So without further delay, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Are you ready to know about my super secret to get success on Etsy? And uh, I'm not going to delay and uh, it sounds like delegate. Yes, such a philosophy works in every niche and it doesn't matter where you work or what you do. So uh, the only question uh, here is whole or partial delegation we are going to talk about and to apply to. So let me tell you about my way of the delegation of uh, running of the Etsy shop. So move on. I'm really excited to tell you that today's video is devoted to one of uh, the websites created specially for Etsy sellers. And namely, we will talk and have a look at sellerway.com. You know, I'm so grateful to people who know IT and all this program and in general all this stuff of that kind. As Oh my god, I cannot uh, just imagine now how we could manage a business without uh, these great assistance. So, you probably guessed, I delegate all this uh, technical issue to Sellerway tools. I find them rather effective and uh, imagine, I do not waste uh, time energy and money to get ideas about uh, the most questions uh, that I face on Facebook every day. And uh, I'm going to make this video more like a tutorial for you, so mm, be ready to get uh, tons of practical information, tips and tricks. Firstly, search uh, Sellerway in your browser and the next step is registration. I should admit it's really very easy and um, consequently quick. Just uh, need uh, your email and that's all. Like most of uh, usual registration. Okay, when your registration is ready, uh, you need to log in. I have already logged in, so you can see uh, this, uh, this page and you need just to go to service and hit uh, this button. So you can see the bar of uh, all tools and now I'm going to show you uh, uh, how they function and uh, let's start with the Trans Plus. So hit Trans Plus and as you can see here you need to enter some keywords and 
uh, we can see that there is a kind of recommendation for for us that long tail keyword uh, can work better as uh, suggested results will be um, better and maybe more effective for you in your niche so let it be uh, earrings okay i'm ready and hit the button so and now I'm ready to tell you about the result that uh, Trends Plus Tool suggests to us. So uh, here we can see a kind of a list uh, with the results and uh, let's have a look at uh, them more detail. So as you can see we can uh, find here information about shop name, then country, then we can read uh, title and uh, we can identify a category that um, this listing is uh, devoted to so then we can uh, look through all uh, necessary and significant information like whether it is digital or no and uh, we can uh, know uh, price and generally total likes total use listing age and uh, we should pay attention to average views per day and uh, with the help of uh, this factor we can identify and get the idea whether this uh, listing uh, is um, effective is on demand uh, on etsy so for example we can find that the result here is 70 so uh, it's a rather good result and we can um, take this listing for example as uh, an example for us to um, maybe improve uh, our strategy uh, if uh, uh, we work in this niche so maybe we can look at uh, keywords for example uh, that are being used here and maybe photo idea and uh, so category and uh, my recommendation here is to pay attention to all this uh, information and analyze analyze uh, suggested result and um, and your uh, criteria your characteristics and you will see what uh, benefits you can get from this information so we can see more results here uh, one more shop uh, information about uh, this shop so we can uh, look through text and pay attention to views per day that is nine so as you can understand uh, in comparison with the previous one uh, this uh, listing perhaps is not so popular on Etsy okay and you can you can see that a lot of results and uh, it it sounds great as you get a lot of information for you to uh, analyze analyze and understand what you need to uh, pay attention to and here we have several pages for example and it's it's fine so you um, can look through i recommend look through all pages to find more and more ideas for your shop okay and now uh, let's move on to the next uh, tool I want to get you uh, know about. So that is keywords. Oh my God, I like it very, 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 very much. And uh, I suggest to use here uh, the next keyword as we uh, need to enter keywords here as well. Okay, and let's search. So here you can find information about uh, related keywords, about number of listings, competition rate, the average views per day and view rate. And um, uh, here we can find a color guide with some explanation for you what uh, competition rate is and what view rate is. So pay attention competition rate here is divided into high, medium and low. And view rate also is divided into high, medium and low. But um, their functions are vice versa. So if uh, we're talking about competition rate, we should... Um, use uh, keywords with 
low competition rate and on the contrary as for view rate we need to use a uh, high view rate keywords so let's have a look that um, that here uh, we have a lot of uh, information and a lot of related keywords and for example we have several pages it means even more results for you to analyze and you need to find uh, keywords with uh, just the perfect combination of low competition rate and uh, high view rate or for example low competition rate and medium view rate or medium competition rate and high or medium view rate so try to find uh, such uh, like for example he, uh, this one thin gold earrings and you can see that competition rate is medium and uh, as for view rate it's high so that is mostly a perfect combination and it brings you uh, up to 30 views per day and it's rather good as at least 20 views per day and you will get uh, sales and now uh, let's move on and uh, i'm going to tell you about key compare plus so click here okay uh, you can see that here we can uh, compare several keywords up to five and uh, we just need to enter each one separately okay i suggested to check and compare these three keywords so uh, i i've entered them and let's compare hit the button and uh, as you can see number of listings we also can find here competition rate views per day and view rate and while information is downloading uh, okay let's have a look color guide we have here also with uh, one more time to repeat to remember you about the importance of competition rate and view rate i have already told you about uh, their function and let's have a look here so as we can see uh, for example tiny gold earrings uh, have a high competition rate and it means that more than 50,000 listings on etsy have the same keywords so it's not rather uh, effective but still uh, with a high view rate this keyword it brings up to 50 views per day and this one is also not bad because it uh, has a medium competition rate and high view rate it's also rather effective and brings you uh, 20 views per day that will be will be enough and good for sales as for this one um, we can see that uh, it's not so effective in comparison with the first and the second one so uh, that's information for you to analyze and to understand uh, which one is better and more effective uh, to apply in your listing so mind this information and uh, i find this tool rather and rather effective the next tool i want to tell you is uh, compare shops so that is click okay we uh, can find uh, here information about age and number of listings number of sales sales per day and feedback score and uh, we can compare up uh, to five shops as you can understand we need just to enter shop name here and then we can analyze so i suggest to go to etsy okay and let it be this query and uh, as you can see we, we can find among um, suggested listings uh, from different shops we can find uh, some shops and then compare them uh, okay i got and let's compare okay let it be two uh, shops and hit compare so as you can see <clears throat> uh, we can find information about age of uh, each 
shop and for example the first one is uh, rather experience i should say and uh, the second one is uh, fresher yeah not new bib to uh, to etsy but still okay we can compare number of listings that uh, the first one is more active but it's logical it's uh, almost four years uh, on etsy and number of sales of course we um, can see the difference and uh, we need to pay attention to sales per day because for example here we uh, see that 80 sales per day in comparison with 21 uh, so we can understand that the strategy of the first one is better effective and may, may be more trending it's uh, worth visiting and uh, looking and uh, searching what uh, tricks you can find you uh, you can pay attention to uh, in this shop and apply uh, but not just copy uh, them but of course uh, you need to make them better and apply to your shop uh, into your strategy so and now uh, i'm going to move on to tracking uh, shops plus Okay, and you can see here the information that uh, we can find. I prepared it for you to find information, but not just zero, zero, zero. Okay, so we have here three shops and we can find uh, information about uh, their age and number of listings and uh, what is... Uh, most significant information here for us is number of uh, sales uh, per day yeah we can see that difference is really um, tremendous and characters and number of sales are extremely different so pay attention that um, these uh, the newest yes uh, shop to uh, etsy uh, has uh, more sales in comparison with uh, the second and uh, the third shops so it means that uh, you definitely if you um, work in this niche and uh, that is uh, about masks so if you work in this niche you need to visit this shop and uh, you need to understand you need to clarify uh, what they do to have such profit okay i guess that it's very very uh, interesting information and it's worth um, focusing on to be more more successful on etsy okay and as we um, have done and clarified uh, about uh, tracking shops plus uh, i guess it's time to move to shop analysis okay here you can find more detailed information about the shop and we need just to uh, enter a shop name i'm ready and let's analyze and we are we are ready with uh, information about uh, this shop so we can f find here age of uh, this shop and uh, number of listings number of sales like uh, general total number of sales sales per day sales per month like um, verified information like per day per month and generally yeah? average price and likes and feedback and uh, country and what is more uh, we can find here li uh, listings uh, from this shop yes and we can look uh, through information about titles and price and photos of course we can pay attention to photos okay but i wanted to show you also shop analysis plus because for example as you maybe pay attention that uh, there are uh, tools uh, without plus and there are uh, tools with uh, plus so what does it mean it means that uh, there are two types of subscription uh, for example all services without plus are free and you can use them just uh, after your registration but uh, services with plus are 
paid ones and um, I should say that uh, the monthly price is eleven ninety nine. So it's up to you uh, which one to choose. Of course, you can start with uh, free and just um, test all the functions of uh, these tools. But I uh, recommend you to try plus uh, tools because uh, they bring you more information and it makes clearer uh, what you need to do or uh, how to improve your strategy like more information for you to analyze okay let's move on to shop analysis plus and here we also need to enter a shop okay and analyze so as you can see here uh, we will have uh, the same information as uh, previously in just shop analysis but uh, here for example, if we're talking about listings from this shop, for example, you uh, found this shop very successful and you need to know about uh, their secret yeah, and hacks they apply. So you need to pay attention to their listings, but as uh, previously we can uh, see only titles and uh, price. But here you can find more information like titles, category, price, total likes, views and views per day and uh, this uh, information uh, gives uh, us idea about effectiveness and popularity on Etsy uh, concerning this very listing. And of course you can find lists of uh, tags for each listing and uh, I think it's also very very significant information so as you can see uh, there is a difference between just a free uh, tool and paid one so I guess I guess it's worth this this price okay I I think you got the idea and let's move on to design ideas yeah okay so here we need also to enter keywords i'm ready let it be this one and search ideas so you can find ideas about uh, these keywords in our situation that is long tail keywords and you can click for example more ideas yes and more ideas okay and you can choose maybe uh, those ones that you like more but I want to show design ideas plus, as you understand, uh, there should be some difference. So let it be the same keyword for you to understand the difference clearer. Okay, and search ideas hit. So that is the difference that you can see not only just photo. Photo is okay, but we can find information about these photo photos, like total likes we use age and likes per day, views per day and for example here we understand that views per day is zero and uh, here views per day is 82. So if you uh, think about what photo, uh, what, uh, photo idea you want to um, realize in your shop, so of course this information helps you to understand that for example left photo uh, will be not so effective but something that is uh, look like with the uh, right photo will be more effective for you so that is the difference and uh, i think that it's um, important difference for you to understand uh, trends even even trends okay and we are moving to category finder so here you need also to enter keywords find categories okay category finder and here we can find uh, suggested categories like uh, categories for this very keyword and uh, moreover we can see uh, listings like examples for us with all this information titles and tags and uh, categories really necessary information 
as you remember, that uh, really good category, effective category, uh, will be like one more tag for you for your item. And we are moving to magic tag. So one more time, keyword. Okay, you ready? And generate tags. So you can find here suggested uh, tags for you uh, that are related to your uh, exemplary ones. And here you can find uh, examples. Yes. And of course, you should uh, pay attention to these examples for you to get the idea what you need and what you should avoid. Okay, and one more time, magic ta tag plus, like what uh, difference we, we can find here. Okay, let's enter keyword. This, of course, is the same one, so generate text. And here uh, you will uh, be suggested with a set of uh, ready text that will be connected with uh, your exemplary one tag and uh, more information about examples uh, with listings. You can see the difference that more, more information, more helpful information uh, about your keywords if you need to, fi to find tags for your listing because it's very, very widespread. A question of what uh, tags should I use for my listing? And here is your uh, assistance. Yes. Okay. And the final one I want to show you that is calculator. Okay. That is calculator. And okay. Let it be one uh, example for you to get the idea. So here, let it be 20 and five and this one okay when you enter all information you need to enter so calculate and now you know mm, your estimated profit so it will be easier easier for you to understand uh, what uh, present profit you get and what possible future profit you will get and you can get so i guess it's very very easy to use so pay uh, attention to this uh, tool and that's actually all information i wanted to tell you about sellerway and its tools so i'm really glad that i share these tips these tools with you and i hope I help you to be more successful on Etsy and if it's uh, so, I will be grateful uh, for your comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments in the comment section below. Bye!